Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, please click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I saw something interesting, and I wanted to do a video kind of centering around what was said. So let me get into that, and then I'll, I'll discuss everything afterwards. Um, Chris Johnson says on Sportsnet 650 that the Maple Leafs aren't actively looking to move Kapanen or Johnson because they like them as secondary pieces of their core. But if a team dangles a good enough defenseman, they could be convinced. So when I saw this, I didn't think anything of it at the time. But then as time went on and Vatnin's play started getting better and better, meaning his points were going up, I kind of thought, hmm, this could be interesting. He could bring us back a good piece. So when you're thinking about what he could bring back, could it be a second and a third, second and a fourth, a fifth, first and a prospect? I don't know. Nothing's been said of what's going on with him. You know, I did a previous video of Sammy Votnin and what the Devils might do with him. Will they try to resign him? Have they started engaging those talks about what they're going to do with his future with us? Maybe potentially doing another bridge deal? Or does he want to hold out and the Devils move him? It, nothing's been said, but it's something that as the trade deadline comes near, we're going to have to seriously think about. So Sammy Votnin, again, is 28 years old. Last year, a $4.875 million cap hit. Last 14 games, he's got 12 points. Last five games, he has seven points. And in 35 games this year, he has five goals, 16 assists, and 21 points. So he is producing well, especially on the power play. So when I saw what Chris Johnson said, I kind of thought that Kapanen would be an interesting piece if the Devils could kind of swing that trade with Toronto. And of course, Kapanen is younger. He is signed into another three years after this year. So the Devils will have to throw in other pieces to this trade if, if it does come down to these two names. Um, you know, prospects or picks, you know, you name it. It's going to be something like that added with these two. Um, Kapanen is 23 years old. He has three more years at $3.2 million. And in, 10, uh, in, in 42 games played this year, he has 10 goals, 13 assists, 23 points. And last year was his best year. He had 20 goals, 24 assists, 44 points in 78 games. So... This is kind of the, the player that Shiro kind of looks to add to his team. You know, a player that's kind of hitting his prime. A player that's locked in for a couple more years. And um, especially with the Devils, we need help on that right side. You know, after Palmieri, you kind of really pick and put whoever goes in, in, on plays on that right side. So I think he would be an interesting piece at our depth going forward. So this kind of makes sense. Um, but it's just, I started thinking around again and I thought... If it might be Severson that goes, that could be a potential one for one. Uh, Severson is 25 years old, so he's two years older than Kapanen. And um, Severson is, um, he's locked into another four more years at 4.16 million. And this year he has four goals, eight assists, 12 points in 40 games. And his, his best year was last year, actually, 82 games. He had 11 goals, 20 assists for 39 points. So he's a good defenseman. He's a good right-handed puck producing, um, point producing defenseman. And he can help out Toronto, especially on that power play. So it's just interesting that these two names could help out a trade with uh, Toronto to bring in forward help for us. Um, you know, if it is Vaden, I see more pieces added to a deal. Where if it's Severson, I could see it more one for one. So I don't know what the Devils are doing. Um, are they looking to trade Vatanen? Are they looking to re-sign him and move Severson possibly? You know, um, the Devils, I think, will make some changes with their D going forward. Um, not necessarily now because they're playing a little better than they, they are, you know, a lot better than they were to start the season. But I think if they don't make the playoffs, I think they will start to unload some players. I don't think it's going to happen now because these players are playing well with, with, um, with Nazardine as the coach now. So... I don't see them move now. I just see them move more closer to the trade deadline if we're not in a playoff position at that point or close to it. I can see them move. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I thought this was just, this was just an interesting trade proposition. Um, from what Chris Johnson said, I just, <clears throat> you know, you never know with Toronto. Um, it could be interesting because they don't have cap space where um, if we can eat Vatnin's salary... Then, because since he's a UFA, um, I think that could work for them if they need help for just this year. But, um, you know, it also could help them next year. Maybe they 
they want to sign Barry, but they can't because of cap issues. And Vatanen could come in a little bit cheaper than him. Maybe they sign him if he works well with their system and their team. Who knows? But they need help on defense. They have a lot of uh, players that are UFAs of this year. You know, they have uh, Cody CC, They have uh, Muzzin. They have Barry. And they have Marinson. So they have a lot of issues to address in their D next year. And with their limited cap space, they're going to have to move some players out to help them make the decisions of who they're going to keep and let go. Um, that's why I thought it would be Nylander since he's making most out of all their secondary scoring. and um, But he's playing so well this year and clicking better with Tavares and all them. So it's leaving uh, Kapanen, Johnson, and I think Kerfoot I heard his name mentioned. So um, I don't see Kerfoot coming to the Devils because he didn't want to come here even after he was drafted. So, um, you know, I could see Kapanen being the best fit out of all those names mentioned. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. I just thought it was an interesting thought at this time um, to do this. Because when I saw that Chris Johnson, um, <clears throat> you know, mentioned that, I'm like, wow, this, this could be an interesting trade that helps out both teams. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with this. Um, I thank you all for watching. I'm going to post two videos here i believe of my last videos if you guys want to watch them and i'll post my logo here somewhere i don't know where here over here somewhere i don't know so um if you want to subscribe click on that and it'll bring you to whatever prompt it does next so um you know i thank you all for watching please like comment and subscribe have a great day tomorrow take it easy